Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to work on yet another problem from Hacker Rank. So this video is again in continuation with the already ongoing series of Hacker Rank. So today we are going to solve headset. So before moving on to this video, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It's a simple and easy, easy, easy process that you have to do. Just hit the subscribe button and that's all. So now let's see what this problem says and what we have to do. Okay, so as you can see here, um, there is a pretty uh, uh, vague definition of headset here that you can uh, uh, see, not headset, uh, specifically set. And the problem says that you have names. So these are the names. And what we have to do is we have to print the number of unique uh, names till the current index. So this being the zeroth or you can say the first name, this is the second and so on. So till here there are no names. So this is going to be unique and that's why the number of unique names are one here. So this is the second name and till here we have two names and both of them are unique. So that's why we have two here. So then came John Tom. So this is again a third name being different from the other two so the count of the names being unique till here is three uh, sorry <laughs> this is uh, I totally missed it sorry about that so this is uh, same uh, to this one so again the number of unique names till here are going to be two so that's why we have two here then came Mariana this is unique from the other ones so till here we have three and this is similar so three so this is what we have to print and you won't believe uh, like when I was working on this problem I thought that we have to work on uh, some kind of method or logic that we have to do but after finding out um, um, like the logic I found that there's a method coming along with set that we can use to do this stuff and it's pretty simple and and you can do it really simply there is like no kind of confusion that's why uh, the difficulty level is easy right so let's see what we have to do as per logic okay so when we come down to logic uh, you can see that we are getting two arrays so this is the difficult part but it's it's understandable so there is this left array and there is this right array. So left being John and right being Tom. So these are the elements that we are getting and then we are going to merge them to make a pair, right? So you can consider this as first name and last name and there are two arrays for first name and last name. So there are two ways to do this. So I'm going to give you guys both of these ways. So first we are going to create, uh, let me Yep. So first let me create a set. So to create a set we simply do set set equals to new and I'm using has set. So has set. Now here comes the generics. So here uh, comes the most important part. What we are going to keep in the set. So again we have two, two arrays. First name array and last name array. So these two comprises one thing right. So either you can have an, an array here so a set can be made of an array or you can create a list which I'm going to do here so list of type string now what we have to do is we have to fill this so let's quickly fill this now we know there are going to be T numbers oh sorry lines so now we what we have to do is first we have to create a list here so here i'm just creating a list which is going to hold only two values first name and last name for the current iteration and then i'm going to keep each and every list inside my set right and i'll explain why we are doing this So now we have 
a list uh, we just have to add first we will add the first name which is in the left array so it is pair left and ith index and similarly we will do this for right so now we have the list created for us now we will just add it to the set okay so now we have the list in the set so what is a set set contains only unique or you can say distinct data so here we have string so it is going to contain only distinct information so when we are adding the data to the list it is going to keep only distinct values right so if you just get the size of the current iteration what you are going to get is the number of distinct data in the current iteration and that is what we have to do right so till here till here we were talking about right so when we say till here which means till this index or till this iteration we have to get the distinct data so that is what we are going to achieve inside this for loop we are going to do is simply after adding to the set we'll just do print set dot size and set is going to do this stuff for us it is going to contain only distinct data which is our requirement so if we if you do this this is what you are going to get which is fine right so now the other way is to not have this so if i just remove this i can create a list from an array if you don't know there is a math uh, there is a class so there is a method first arrays dot as list. This is very important. So to uh, through this you can create uh, a list from an array. So here you just have to provide pair first left. So you have to follow the order i and pair right i. Now we have to do this do the same stuff that we did earlier, but it reduced the number of lines for us so if you run the code now it's working fine so if we can try to submit the code it should work fine also so i think this is it for this video i hope uh, the explanation was clear if not you can ask your questions in the comment section and i hope i will meet you in the next video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye